Hey everyone, Bilal Akiakov here, and today we have a new integration, Spotify. Spotify has been added in version 5.5 to give you full control of your Spotify setup. You'll be able to do things like instantly change your album artwork in OBS, set up chat commands to get the currently playing song, pause Spotify before an alert goes off that has audio in it, and much, much more. Before we begin though, Spotify does require their own premium membership in order to use their API, so you will need that to continue. But anyway, let's jump right in. Okay, so we're going to begin by connecting to Spotify. We're going to go to connections and under streaming services, we'll press add new connection and we'll select Spotify. Press connect next and it will log into Spotify. If you're not already logged in, then you'll have to log in. We'll press refresh. We'll go to the dashboard and you'll see Spotify show up in your connections. Hopefully everything shows green in your connection. Now there's two ways you use Spotify, either with alerts where you can have things happen where a song is switched or when you play or pause Spotify. And the second way is with Spotify commands where you can have things where you can literally play or pause from chat or Twitch points. You can add new songs to queue. You can change the volume and a bunch of other things. Spotify commands is only available in the premium version of Lumia Stream, whereas alerts is available for both the starter and premium versions. So we're gonna begin with alerts. We'll go to alerts and we'll press Spotify. As you see, there are three different alert types, switch song, song played, and song pause. We're just gonna be using a switch song for now, so we're gonna turn that alert on, and we're gonna change the type to no light change because we don't want our lights to change, we just wanna change our OBS setup, which we'll get into shortly. We also wanna skip the queue so it can happen immediately, and it doesn't disturb our alerts or commands that's coming in. And we're gonna enable chatbot because we want chat to be able to see what's playing. So for my chatbot message, I'm gonna say now playing, and we'll use a variable here to select the dynamic song as you see, we've added new variables for Spotify. We have Spotify now playing song, now playing ID, URI, image, artist, and URL. So I'm gonna choose song right here, but I'm also gonna choose a URL. So now I have Spotify now playing song plus the URL. So chat can go and play the song itself if they want. So that sets up my chat bot, but we also wanna change our OBS setup. So we're gonna go to manage OBS. Now I'm gonna go to my OBS settings and I'm gonna add a browser source so I can show my album artwork that's currently playing. And I'm gonna call this song image. I'm gonna hide it by default and I'll remove this URL for now. And my second source is gonna be a text type. I'm gonna call this text type song name because we're gonna update the name here and make it invisible by default. Press okay and I'm gonna make these visible for now. I'm gonna put my test text down here and I'll put my album artwork right here. So let's hide them both. And now we'll go back to Lumia. So we're gonna refresh our OBS settings since Lumia Stream does not dynamically know that OBS has changed their settings. So now I'm going to select set source URL because we're gonna first select our album artwork. I'm gonna select my source, which shows up right here at the top because I newly added that. So song image. And for the URL, we're gonna use a variable. We're gonna use the Spotify now playing image. I'm going to add that to OBS and we also want to update our text. So the source here is going to be song name and then the text is also going to be another variable and that variable is going to be Spotify now playing song. We're going to add OBS here as well, but we also need to show the source now. So we're going to set the scene source visibility. So set source visibility and the scene is under screen share. I'm going to set song image and visibility on. I'm going to do the same thing for the song name. So that's my whole start setup. It will set the URL, the text, and then make them both visible. But on the end, after the four seconds is over, we want to hide the those sources again. So we're gonna do set source visibility and I'm gonna select song image and turn visibility off and I'll do the same thing for song name. And there's our end state. So we have our start and our end state. I'm gonna press done. And now my alert should be fully set up. I'm gonna press refresh here and we'll try it out. Let's play a different song in Spotify. So we're gonna press next in Spotify. And if everything worked out correctly, we should see Lumia Land show up right here. Perfect. That's a setup of a simple alert to show your current song playing as well as your current album artwork. Now we're gonna move on to Spotify commands. So to begin, we're just gonna create a command, a Twitch point command that will give your viewers the ability to add songs to the queue. So I'm gonna press Twitch points. I'm gonna add a new command. 
I'm going to call this command song request and I don't want any light changes to happen. I'm going to choose no light change and then I'll go to points options. So I want to make sure the user enters a prompt or else it can't get the current song. So I will require a prompt and then the description will give examples of how to use the Spotify search API to get narrower results, because if there are more results that come up, then it will just choose the first one. So for our description, we'll just say use filters to narrow down your results. Example track. Hello, artist Adele album 25. Now, just as we did alerts, I also want to skip the queue here as well so they can happen immediately. I'm going to go to Spotify and I'm going to set up my Spotify commands. So I'm going to choose search and add a queue. And then for the value, I'm going to use another variable, but I'm going to use prompt this time. So we get what the user has inputted and we'll press add Spotify. And that's it. We'll press apply, refresh and go to our Twitch channel. So if everything worked correctly, I should be able to go to channel points and I should see song request here. So I can say track hello artist Adele album 25. We don't have to dig that deep, but you know, just to get the exact, exact results. If I press chat, you should see my Spotify playlist now shows hello. Shout out to Lumia Land, Mr. Lou. Check it out if you haven't already and make sure you like it. And that was it. But I'm going to give you one more example of how to pause Spotify before an alert plays like a chat command that has an audio file. So I'm going to go to chat. I'm going to put in a new command. I'm just going to call this audio s two because I already have another one. I will select the audio tab. I'm going to select my audio and then I'm going to go to Spotify. So if I'm my start event, I just want to pause Spotify. And for my end event, I want to play Spotify. So all this would do is just pause Spotify right before the audio plays. So there's no clashing between the different audios. We'll press apply and we'll try it out. So I'll first start playing Spotify and I'll go into my chat and put audio test two. Boom. Stop playing Spotify, paused it, and then it started playing right out there so easy. <laughs> These are just a few of the ideas of how you can use Spotify integration with Lumia Stream. We want to hear from you. What ideas do you have and how we use the Spotify integration? Comment down below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe because we will be releasing a lot more tutorials and have a luminous day. Yeah.